This is Professor Hildebrandt. This will be an example from Chapter 7. Um, this chapter has two portions. We're going to cover big topics here, unemployment and inflation. This will focus on the unemployment part. Here I'm going to show you how to calculate both our unemployment rate and our labor force participation rate and talk a little bit about what those mean. So here's the example that we're going to work through. We have a hypothetical country. It has 1,500 adults. 800 have jobs, 200 are looking for jobs, 200 are retired, and 300 have given up looking. They, they aren't working, they're not applying for anything, they're just kind of sitting at home, okay? This group, these are not unemployed people. We call them, let's see if I can fit it down here, discouraged workers, and they are not in the, the statistics that we run, okay? So we're not uh, even going to consider them in our calculations. Here is an important formula that you need uh, to calculate these, our unemployment rate formula. And so our unemployment rate is calculated by taking the number of unemployed and dividing that by the labor force and then multiplying times 100 to get the percent. So remember, our labor force is comprised of two groups of people. The people that have jobs currently, both full-time and part-time, and the people that are actively seeking jobs. So if we go back here, right, we would see that we have 800 people that have jobs and we have 200 people that are looking for jobs. So this 200 here, these are the only ones that in our economy right now we would say are unemployed, okay? So our labor force is going to be the 800 plus the 200 who are looking, or 1,000 people. So again, to calculate then the unemployment rate, we're going to take those 200 who are unemployed, divide by that full labor force number of 1,000, and then multiply that times 100. And so if you did this calculation out, you would see that this economy has an unemployment rate of 20%. So that's really high, okay? Uh, the worst ours was, since we've tracked this, was 25% uh, at the height of the Great Depression. So this would be a very, very high um, unemployment rate. So a couple of things here. Again, you're unemployed. This top number is just those who are actively seeking jobs. They're not working, but they really want to. They have to be looking to be part of this number, okay? And make sure when you divide that you're dividing by the entire labor force, those who are working plus those who are unemployed, okay? That 1,000 figure um, in this example. A lot of times students will just divide by the people that have jobs, the 800, and that will give you the wrong answer. So make sure it's the full labor force. Okay, so now... We're going to calculate the labor force participation rate. And so now it's the number in the labor force, which we just found on the previous screen, to be 1,000 people. We're going to divide that by all the adults. In this case, I gave you the number. Um, if you were given a total population, you would just need to subtract out uh, the children, okay, to get your total adults. And then we'll multiply again times 100. If you did the calculation, it is... Messed it up there, I went too fast. 66.67%, okay, is our labor force participation rate. And so what this one is telling us is of all the adults in our economy, how many of them are either contributing to production or would like to be, right? Because again, the labor force includes both those who are working and those who would like to work, okay? And so what we'll see is that um, in an economy, let's say, where we suddenly have a lot more people who retire, okay, so like our baby boomer generation, big part of our population is starting to retire. So if retirees, if that number goes up, then it's going to cause our labor force participation number to go down. Um, likewise, if we have a lot of those discouraged workers, the people that have given up, so if we see the number of discouraged workers increase, then again, we'll see our labor force participation rate decrease. 
Um, the trend that we've seen the past few decades in the United States is that the labor force participation rate for men has decreased. More of them are retiring earlier in their lives, while we've seen more women um, enter the workforce. So we've seen an increase um, in the labor force participation rate for our females.